This is an oscillator that makes a comparison of two periods of a stock's price movement, the current price and the price range over a specified time frame. As an example, stock XYZ closed today at $20. If we were using a 10-day stochastic, that would be the equivalent of the range of the price over the last 10 days compared to today's closing price of $20. This is then plotted on a scale of 0 to 100. If this value is greater than 80, we have an overbought or bearish situation. And if this value is less than 20, we have an oversold or bullish situation. Keep in mind that the stochastic oscillator is best used during a period where the stock price is trading in a range. Here on the graph I've plotted the price of the stock in candlestick formation and at the bottom of the graph we're looking at the stochastic oscillator. It is at this point in time where percent %K crosses above percent %D where we have a bullish indication that it's okay to jump in and buy the stock. Here on the graph we see where percent %K has crossed below percent %D giving us a bearish indication and it's time to sell the stock. Again, we can also look at the values of the stochastic oscillator from a range of 0 to 100 to identify overbought and oversold conditions. Here on the graph, we see that the stochastic has reached a level that is above 80, indicating an overbought situation. You'll notice something interesting here that percent %K continues to trend lower and the stock price remains flat. This is a bearish indication as percent %K is going down and the stock is having trouble finding direction. Sooner or later the stock goes into a heavy sell-off and it continues to drop from there. Again by taking a look at this graph we see a clear indication that percent %K can remain above a value of 80 for an extended period of time and the stock price will continue to go up. Always remember that when using a leading indicator looking for overbought or oversold conditions you're taking a very aggressive approach. So we should only look at this information as an alert as opposed to looking at it as an indication of an imminent reversal. We see here on the graph where the stock price continues to climb while percent %K remains above a value of 80. However, sooner or later the stock price does drop. And we see here that percent %K also falls below percent %D, giving us a bearish indication. 